Hi, I'm Ashy. Today I'm attempting a watercolor Northern Lights painting. So I pre-wet my paper really significantly and then just mix up a bunch of these kind of primary colors that I'm going to be using for the sky and just start with layering in these greens and purples and blues and various shades and values to get the variation in the sky that I kind of see in my reference photo. And I'm playing with tilting the paper too to get the streaky look of the light actually shining down through the, through the sky, I guess. And then just go in and still wet and wet to get some soft blending, add in even deeper values, and again, tilting that paper. I do try to use this kind of salt technique to push some of the pigment away. Um, don't really know what I'm doing with it, so <laughs> it didn't really work probably how it's supposed to. And I end up covering most of that later anyway. But I think that I'm supposed to actually let it dry all the way and remove the salt before painting more. That's not what I did. So then for the water, I'm just trying to get sort of a little bit of reflection of those colors. So the bottom part of this page is, is water and I'm kind of mirroring the values with the darker toward the edges. The salt effect does look pretty cool in the water there, but like I said, I end up covering that later anyway. So after I let that dry completely, I go in and do another layer and I do wet and wet more. So I actually, you know, started with some wet on dry and then went ahead and wet my paper again to get more of that soft blending, just adding deeper values. Going in with more of that green and trying to get it to kind of streak both make it look like it's kind of streaking up and streaking down so I'll just playing with tilting that paper. Once I was pretty happy with the sky I let that dry completely and went in to work on the actual land part. So just kind of pre-wetting that part and adding in some dark grayish purple tones there for for the snowy land. And then I go in and add my trees. And I did try to achieve some perspective with smaller trees and less detail in the back, with the front having the more detailed, kind of taller, more impactful trees. So just very simply painting in shapes of these pine tree or evergreen tree forest here. Those back ones are lighter value and smaller. And then as I come toward the front, you can see they're much larger and more detailed. And I'm just painting in more shadows and more, more details. Then to achieve the reflection in the water, I did start actually wet on dry there to paint kind of similar shapes. And then I went over with my brush, wet clean brush, and lifted some of the paint and smoothed out some of those trees to make them look a little bit blurry. And then to get the darker value reflections, I did wet on wet and achieved that kind of soft look. And now I'm just adding in some deeper values again to, to really um, add just contrast and make it more interesting. Mm -hmm. 
then kind of the final step of the painting is to go back in where it was wet and wet, add some more details for the bottom of the tree, add some shadows into the land, again just building up that contrast and that depth of this painting. And that's about it. So if you enjoyed this time lapse type of video, let me know with a like and check out this other watercolor Irish castle that I did and that's a time lapse video as well. Thanks for watching.